from sa to sa the journey of life has been a musical extravaganza for the great sitar maestro pandit shamul chattopadhyay born in 1928 in meerut up he belonged to a family where his parents were passionate in music and so blessed he was right from his birth and destined to trod his path in music which has brought him both peace and excellence he was only a child of 5 when he started off with tabla taking talan from the veteran pandit kanai datto who used to visit his house at khidirpur kolkata to accompany his two sisters who were vocalists soon he was seen on stage accompanying his sisters and other artists on the tabla a mere child of just 7 years in 1939 when world war 2 started the entire family shifted to chinsura to save themselves from bomb attacks at khidirpur dock area which is quite close to their house at chinsura he was admitted to chinsura duff high school and passing out from school he was admitted to hugli mohsin college where he pursued arts as his subject his music and learning went on simultaneously after india's independence in 1947 the family reshifted to calcutta and he continued with his studies at ashutosh college from where he acquired the bachelor's degree in arts he started playing football in the goalkeeper position right from his school days through college and had the opportunity of joining the renowned mohan bagan club here his life had an interesting turn it was 1950 the deputy commissioner of police at quarters mr p k sen a life member of the mohan bagan club being impressed by his playing called him at lal bazar and issued an appointment letter in his name as sergeant of calcutta police to play for the calcutta police athletic club which qualified to play in first division from 1951 his duty then was to go for morning and evening practices only his learning of music went along unhampered he continued to serve the department and retired as assistant commissioner of police wireless branch it is indeed amazing how he matched his profession with his passion but it was surely his dedication to music that made it possible for him being a tabla player and by accompanying several vocal artists he gradually started feeling a keen interest in indian classical vocal music and started taking talent from veteran vocalists like pundit shukhendu goshami pundit chinmoy lahiri and pundit shottin ghoshal the various forms of indian classical music overwhelmed him and he started off with his journey on the sitar in the year 1952 when he received his brother in law sitar as a gift from him his joy knew no bounds he approached hirenda of hiren roy and sons the renowned calcutta sitar maker and immediately got it repaired and started playing it on his own as already he had substantial knowledge of the ragas and talas in 1952 pandit kalidas sharnal reputed vocalist and secretary of the all india sadarang music conference invited him to play sitar in his monthly program where there was a remarkable gathering of samajdars of indian classical music for 2 hours he played accompanied in tabla by shadesh sharnal nephew of pandit kalidas sharnal amidst the eminent invitees in the program was present ustad mia dabir khan shahab none other than the last descendant 
of the legendary musician Mia Tanshin. He was so impressed by his playing that he offered to give him lessons. As he could gauge from his recital, the he was still without a guru. Thus was the initiation of trodding the path of light, holding the hands of the revered guru in Dhrupadango in the Shini Gharana. Those were golden times. The guru would come every Tuesday at 7 o'clock to his blessed disciple's house to give him talim in the different ragas of Indian classical music and opened the wide horizon of the magic of the octave of Sa to Sa in front of his eyes. At that time, the ardent tabla player Pundit Anil Palit, disciple of the immortal maestro Pundit Kishan Maharajji, was a guest in the house of Pundit Shamal Chattopadhyay, and every evening was a witness to their rigorous practices. This went on for a couple of years. It was this time when Pandit Kanthe Maharajji, father of Pandit Kishan Maharajji, visited Shamal Chattopadhyay's house at Wadganj Khidirpur and so did eminent persons like Pandit Viji Jog, Pandit Shamal Bos, Pandit Srikant Bakre, Pandit Askaran Sharma and many other stars in the constellation of Indian classical music. He was wedded to Krishna Chatterjee, a vocalist, who later became a Bihai artist of All India Radio. She evolved as a music composer, having singers like Madhuri Chattopadhyay, Sridhar Banerjee, Amrik Singh Arora, Shoikot Mitra, and Antara Chaudhuri, just to name a few, who sang to her tune. Eminent lyricists like Pulok Bandhabadhyay were also frequent visitors to the house and wrote songs for her. Persons of the silver screen, like Tapushpal and Munmun Shen, also recorded songs composed by her. She supported him wholeheartedly in his quest for music through the ups and downs of family life and gave him a happy family with two loving sons. So affectionate the father was with his sons 
that he could not accept Pandit Ravi Shankar's several requests to accompany him abroad, for that would mean staying away from home for prolonged periods, as well as a break in his service. The elder son, an academic echelon in Bengali and Sanskrit languages, having an innate connection in mind and soul with Solil Choudhury's music composition, and the younger one, engineer and an amateur tabla and sitar player, blessed with a passionate love for sitar and a natural heir to the invaluable treasure that the house possesses, Baba's sitar. To mention, last but not the least, his beloved granddaughter, doctor by profession, is trying her best to uphold the family tradition by practicing the classical dance form of Kathak, having been trained by gurus like Amita Dattu and Mudhumita Roy, renowned dancers and disciples of Birju Maharaj Ji. In 1956, he made his first Sita recital in All India Radio as a Bihai artist and then proceeded to reach grade A and A top as his musical career progressed. He performed several times for Kolkata Doordarshan, solo sita recitals, orchestration with V. Balsaraji, Indo-Western fusion music with Arthur Gracious and his team. The fusion music came out later as a CD known as Mood Music released by Concert India on the birthday of Kolkata 300. public performances in several places in India, like Delhi, Bhopal, Mumbai, Banaras, Lucknow, and appeared in local TV channels and was heard in local radio stations as well. He continued with his talim with Ustad Muhammad Dabir Khan Sahib and learned the various ragas and developed an insight of how moving within an octave, changing notes, and the badi and sambadi, the color of one raga would change into another. How by selecting sa from any place, he could move to another octave. And thus opened before him the vast, deep, and endless ocean of the Indian classical music. After the demise of the Khan Sahib in 1971, he became a disciple of Pandit Ravi Shankar in the year 1984 and redefined his journey in Indian classical music as a Narabadha Shishya of the veteran Guru. Pandit Ravi Shankar is Pandit Ravi Shankar. He is my Bhagavan. He has gone to me. 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 যখন থেকে বাজাই সে তার বা তবলা বাজাই চাকরি করতে করতে তখন থেকে ওর সঙ্গে আমার আল্লাহ ওকে রবুদা রবুদা বলে ডাকতাম আমরা কমন টার্মস ছিলাম আমাদের তিনি আমায় প্রচণ্ড ভালোবাসতেন 
তারপরে আমি তার কাছে শেখার জন্য প্রস্তুতি নিই এবং তাকে বলি এবং তিনি নারা বাঁধলেন এবং আমাকে শেখাতে শুরু করলেন আপনি কোন কোন বড় অনুষ্ঠানে সেতার বাজিয়েছেন ধরুন কলকাতা প্র্যাকটিক্যালি সবই যতগুলো কনফারেন্স হয় শীতকালের সময় হয় প্লাস ছোটখাটো প্রোগ্রাম কলকাতার বাইরে লখনৌ এলাহাবাদ বেনারাস বোম্বে সব জায়গাতেই বাজিয়েছে প্র্যাকটিক্যালি আপনি তো সঙ্গীত প্রভা করে স্বর্ণ পদক পেয়েছেন তাছাড়া আপনার অনেক ক্যাসেটও বাজেটে বেরিয়েছে শুনেছি সেটা কত সালের ঘটনা এবং ক্যাসেটটি বা কবে বেরিয়েছে চৌষট্টি পঁয়ষট্টি সালে হবে সঙ্গীত প্রভাবের পরীক্ষাটা যখন গৌরদা বেঁচে গৌর গোস্বামী বিখ্যাত বাঁশি বাজিয়ে গৌরদা বেঁচে গৌরদান স্টেশন থেকে পরীক্ষা দিয়েছিলাম সঙ্গীত প্রভা করে গোল্ড গোল্ড মেডেল পেয়েছিলাম আর ক্যাসেট গত বছরে দুর্গা পুজোর সংখ্যায় বেরিয়েছে একটা দেওয়ালি ইস্যু করে বার করেছে একটা এবারও বেরিয়েছে গাঁথানি রেকর্ড কোম্পানি বার করেছে আচ্ছা আমরা তো জানি যে সেতার একটা সাধনার ব্যাপার এবং এখানে মানসিক একাগ্রতার একটা প্রয়োজন আছে তাহলে আপনি কোন সময়টা বেছে নেন আপনার রেয়াজের জন্য এই একটা ভালো প্রশ্ন করেছেন কেন জানেন আমার যে চাকরি তাতে সময় বাঁচার অবসর নেই যখন সময় পাই তখন রেয়াজ করি এখন বলতে পারেন যে এই চাকরি করে এত কষ্ট করে এত পরিশ্রম করে এই করে আপনি কি করে বাজান তা দেখুন যে রাঁধে সে চুলও বাঁধে আমার যদি ইচ্ছে থাকে বাজাবো আমি নিশ্চয়ই বাজাবো এবং রক্তের মধ্যে রয়েছে সব কিছু চলে যেতে পারে কিন্তু বাজনা যাবে না আচ্ছা তরুণ শিল্পীদের প্রতি আপনার কি কোনো উপদেশ আছে সে তার বাদকদের কথা বলছি দেখুন উপদেশ দেওয়া একটা বড় ব্যাপার হয়ে যাবে কারণ উপদেশ দেওয়ার মতো অনেক বড় বড় শিল্পী আছে আমার খালি একটাই বক্তব্য যে আজকাল গুরু সেবাটা প্রায় উঠে গেছে স্কুল কলেজগুলো আছে সেখানে মান্থলি টাকা দিচ্ছে শিখছে কিন্তু গুরুর সান্নিধ্যে আসা গুরু ভক্তি গুরুর সঙ্গে সঙ্গে চলা এটা না হলে আমার মনে হয় না যে শিক্ষা ঠিক হয় এবং ঠিক পথে কেউ চলতে পারে
this was the time when sitting at the feet of Pandit Ravi Shankar, he learned the magic of rhythm. The different talas, laikari, and enriched by the knowledge imparted by his revered gurus, he continued with his sadhana on the path of creativity and innovation. He was fortunate to have as accompanists on the tabla maestros like Pandit Kishan Maharaji, Kenamatullah Khan Sahib, Kanai Dotto, Pandit Shankar Ghosh, Shapun Chaudhuri, Sabir Khan, Manik Pal, Dombrupani Bhattacharya, Nanku Maharaji, Allah Rakha Khan Sahib, Shamul Bose, Gobindu Bose, Gopal Misra, Shohan Lal Misra, Bikram Ghosh, Kumar Bose, Swaraj Bhattacharya, Biplab Bhattacharya, Purimal Chakraborty, Devashish Mukherjee, and so many other well-known artists. He has indelible memories of sharing the stage with his gurus, Ustad Mehmet Dabir Khashaheb and Pandit Ravi Shankar, and accomplished artists like Bhimshen Joshi, Pandit Yashraj, Hari Prashad Chaurashya, to name a few. He was also befriended by Padmasri Pandit Debu Choudhury, who was his contemporary and an eminent sitar player. Pandit Shamal Chattopadhyay's versatility in ragas and thalas soon became well known. He popularized many less heard ragas and could play with ease on intricate thalas. Music critics of the leading newspapers like the Statesman, the Telegraph, Ananda Bazar Potrika, Jugantar, Bortoman, and magazines like Desh wrote about his rare talent in playing the uncommon ragas in uncommon talas with words of appreciation, saying that his ability was really commendable. He received awards and felicitations from different organizations including the Lifetime Award from Pandit Bikram Ghosh. In the auspicious occasion of receiving the Lifetime Award, the Guru, 91 years of age, played music, magic, for two hours, along with his disciple. Shwetar Matak Pundit Shamul Kumar Chattopa Dhaya Shamanito Hulen Pundit Shankar Ghosh Lifetime Achievement Purushkare. Take a Purushkar Pradhan Kora Holo Bikram Ghosh Academy of Performing Arts at Dityo Prochor Purti Kolo Khe. Pusti Chila Vishishto Shilpira. demise of his former guru, Ustad Dabir Khan Sahib, Pundit Shamul Chattopadhyay held an annual program called Sa Re Ga, which was later renamed as Sur Shandam to commemorate his guru and to pay homage to him. Being a diligent disciple of his gurus, who were institutions in themselves, he rightly carried forward the Guru Shishya Parampara and is fortunate to have disciples in India and abroad who have proved themselves as Shishyas of worth, sure and certain to carry forward the rich legacy 
that they have received from their Guruji. The candle burns and will burn for ages to come, spreading the words of light, peace and hope, of freedom of soul and emancipation. The journey from Sa to Sa will move from octave to octave endlessly. <laughs>